Hi everyone, welcome to my cheesy kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a desi twist to an Italian pasta. I'm going to be making a, a masala pasta which is going to be tossed in herbs and spices and a subtle Indian flavor. Italian cuisine is packed with uh, herbs and spices as well and today I'm going to show you a desi twist. I'm going to be using Britannia cheese blocks which is packed with the flavors of cheddar and it's going to render a beautiful taste to this dish. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in and I'll show you how to make this baked macaroni pasta with an Indian twist. So the first step is to grate the Britannia cheese block and uh, let me just get started with that. This Britannia cheese block is one of my favorite cheeses because it melts so beautifully and I typically use it wherever I'm looking for soft melty cheese uh, in my dishes and notice how beautifully it grates. The long strands of cheese is something that I love. It's just beautiful. This cheese, it tastes and packed with flavors from cheddar as well. So now that I've finished grating my cheese, I'm going to show you how to put together the masala pasta. So to begin making the pasta, the first step is to make the sauce, which is going to be flavored with Indian herbs and spices. I'm going to go ahead and add some oil into the pan. And to this, some garlic. Onions. I'll add in the capsicum and we'll saute the onion and capsicum until they soften and then I'm going to go ahead and add the carrots and we'll cook it until it's all done. So the onions have started sweating, they've not changed color as yet. At this stage I'm going to go ahead and add in the carrots and I'm going to cook the onion, capsicum and the carrots until they're completely done and at this stage you'll notice the onions also turning lightly more brown as well as the capsicum as well. We want it to get a nice roasted consistency. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some salt so it gives a, a good color and taste as well. And uh, in about three to four minutes, uh, we'll get a good consistency. We'll wait for them to get cooked completely. Beautiful. Notice how the onions have lightly browned and so is the capsicum and the carrots look cooked as well. At this stage, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the tomato puree that I have. And to this, all the desi masalas. Some palm bhaji masala, some mixed Italian herbs, red chili powder, some salt to taste, and some sugar just to cut the sourness from the tomatoes. Okay, we'll just give it a stir and give it a brisk boil for about a couple of minutes and after that we'll go ahead and add the macaroni pasta which is pre-cooked and kept and we'll be ready to put it into the oven for baking. Okay, so I've just stir fried it a little bit, give it a mix, we'll go ahead and add in the cooked macaroni. You can also add any other pasta of your choice like spaghetti or penne. Our macaroni tastes nice and it renders to Indian flavors really well. That's it, we'll give it a toss until the macaroni gets well coated with the sauce. So notice that the macaroni is well coated. At this stage, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the heat, give it a taste to see if you want more chili, palm bhaji masala, uh, or even some garam masala. Sometimes I even add some sambar powder and you'll be surprised how delicious it tastes. I've done that before. Okay, and uh, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat and then we're ready to put it into the baking dish and top it with some Britannia cheese and then put it in the oven. And I'm ready to put the macaroni, masala macaroni into my bowl. And finally sprinkle the grated Britannia cheese block, which is gonna add a lot of delicious taste to our pasta. And I'm gonna just bake it in the oven until it just melts. So now I'm going to go ahead and bake this in the oven at about 180 degrees centigrade which is a preheated oven at 180 degrees centigrade and for about 10 minutes until the cheese melts completely and is nice and bubbly. Alright, the baked masala macaroni pasta is ready and it looks absolutely delicious. The cheese has melted beautifully and it's going to add a delicious taste to this dish. So I hope you enjoyed watching the recipe of how to make this baked masala macaroni. Your family and your children will absolutely love it. it. has a desi twist to it. So do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to take your snapshot of it and uh, share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. We'd love to hear back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.